Hello, welcome to this video. This time we're doing something a little bit different because I'm on top of the hill on the farm because up here is this incredible view and I'm going to put up a trail cam so we can see the animals as well. Yep, so uh, I've got this. This is the Keen Rio Link Keen Ranger PT. It has many names. We'll get to that in just a second. But I'm going to take this, which is a trail cam, so you see it's camouflaged. Well, it's very good. And I'm going to put that up there. So up on that tree is about there, roughly, is where it's going to go. Um, and then hopefully we can see some wildlife during the day and at night. But there's a whole lot of features on it, and I'll get to those in just a second. So before we put it on the tree, let's take out the box. So this is what you get sent. This is the Keen Ranger PT 4G cellular network, 2K live views, 360 viewing angle, etc., etc. Um, so this camera has uh, comes with a well, it doesn't come with a SIM card, but you need a SIM card for 4G connectivity because it does not have Wi-Fi. So that's why we're on top of the hill because technically there sort of is Wi-Fi here because I'm going a bit mad with Wi-Fi coverage but there's also 4G coverage which we do not have down in the farm so let's just take this out of the box and we'll see what we actually have to put up what we have to deal with Ow. here's the Keen manual so Keen is real links range of um, outdoor wildlife cameras I think um, quick start guide operational instructions here are some little um, templates for mounting it if we need those. And then there is a legal disclaimer, of course. So we just leave that in. It's a little bit windy up here today. You might hear that in the microphone, sorry. Um, keep that there. Then there is the 4G antenna, also in camouflage. Lovely, lovely. Ooh, comes with its own little piece of thing here. All right. Then there is, of course, the camera itself. Here's the camera unit. So this is a pan and tilt camera, so it can tilt and it can pan. It does not zoom as far as I know. Um, the serial number, etc. Here is where you can put power to it. Uh, so you turn power on and off. Um, here is where you put the 4G antenna. This is the micro USB for charging it. So that could be from a solar panel or something else if you have it. Probably the solar panel, because that's, well, it's not that, but it's under there. Um, so that's the camera, and up here is uh, where you mount it to the mount, which is this thing. Um, so that sits over this, I believe, and you can then screw it in there on the top. So we're going to mount it here somehow, right? And then there is uh, some screws for it. That is a micro USB cable for charging. There is a strap, which probably isn't going to be long enough for this tree because it's a quite large tree, but there is a strap. And underneath here, we should have, oh, that's nice. Um, there's the solar panel. Right here, Oop, there it goes. That is the solar panel for charging it, which we're also going to put up on the tree. So that comes with a mound, it has a strap, it has screws and all sorts. All right, that looks pretty good. So I think next step, before we talk more about the features and what it does, let's put it on the tree and uh, get it going. Let me show you the install because uh, I think it'll work. Anyway, let me show you. I'm just gonna climb the ladder here. Uh, oh, you see the ladder, there you go. So here is the Keen Ranger PT. Um, so it's sitting, I chose to put it into the tree, screw it directly into the tree because these straps that you come with it 
it just isn't long enough. Um, and there's one for the camera and there's one for the solar panel as well. They're just not long enough for this tree, so uh, in they go. And then of course you have the 4G antenna here and then you have the, uh, the wire from the solar panel there. Um, I haven't turned it on yet, we'll do that in just a second. Um, but there it goes and you can see it, it has the nice view out over that. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Anyway, hopefully there'll be some wildlife as well. So over here, oops, I'll show the wire. There's the lead. That's probably the only contentious thing I have right now. Um, but that goes over to the solar panel, which is roughly facing north that way. North in Australia is where the sun is. Southern hemisphere, north, northern hemisphere, south, etc. So that goes here, also mounted into the tree. Um, I don't think the tree will mind, but just like that. So that sits like that there. Pretty good. Um, but yeah, let's try and turn on the thing. All right, so let's, let's turn it on. And I haven't turned it on before. You're gonna be the first as well as me to see. So on the back here, there's a little power button. So I'm just gonna put my finger there and try and turn it on. I think that's it. There's a red light. So hopefully that's something. I think it's on. I was expecting it to swivel and do things. SIM card cannot be recognized. Please insert the SIM card correctly and restart the camera. Right, did you get that? Sounds like I've inserted the SIM card incorrectly. So let me just fix that and I shall return. All right, let's just try that again. Actually, the SIM card wasn't in properly. It was a bit fiddly, but I think it's in now. So let's try and turn it on again. See what happens. There we go, on button. That little red light comes on there, I think. Yeah, red light, please. Network connection succeeded. Ooh, ooh, network connection succeeded. Hallelujah. Okay, and, and then what? I probably should have read the manual, but anyway. All right, um, I guess that's it. Next, we'll um, get a hold of the Reolink app and we'll uh, adopt it into that and see what we get. Hi, this video is sponsored by, uh, no, I don't actually have sponsors for videos, but if you want to support the channel, maybe consider getting a Keen camera, Reolink Keen, use the link down below in the description or subscribe to the channel. That'll be great, that's how you can support my channel. Thank you, all right, back to the video. Right, so let's go through the app and all the features for this camera. So this is a couple of days later. I've been playing around with it for a little bit and trying to figure out what it does and what it doesn't. Um, and it, it, it's, there's some really cool things. I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, and there's even some nice wildlife footage as well, but we'll get to that. So I've already adopted it into the Reolink app. It was very simple. Um, basically, you just scan the barcode, the QR codes rather, on the camera and it finds it and you're good to go. That's pretty much it. So I'm not going to bother you with that. So, but I have the, uh, the app up here. And this is uh, the standard Reolink app that works with all their cameras. Uh, but I only have the one right now. So this is the, uh, the, um, the keen camera that you are looking at. So if I just you know, scroll down here, you can see I have only have hill cam. Um, and there's a few stats there. So it's not connected because it's, that's a 4G connected, it's not Wi-Fi. It'll only connect when you ask to connect to it. It won't just stream all the time, which makes sense. You know, sp you know sp spare the data. So let's go into it. Um, first of all, we have here, I can click play over cellular data. So let's just have a look at the picture. You can see that's me there, which is waiting for it to go live stream. So this is over a 4G connection that I'm gonna stream it. So it takes a little bit to connect to it, but that's okay. So there I am. There you go. Now you won't see this uh, full screen because the way that screen capture works, but you can go full screen as well. So I won't, won't bore you with that. Um, yeah, here's me. Hello. See what there's a couple of seconds delay. Not even. So it's not bad. All right. Oh, I just connected to the Wi-Fi down in the house, which is down there. Yes, I do have a lot of Wi-Fi on the farm. Um, 
and then it'll start live reviewing again. So the, the features you can do here is you can put the sound on through it. So if I turn it up, I don't know if you can hear it. Hello. There you go. Hopefully you can hear that through the microphone. Turn the sound off. Uh, you can take a snapshot. You can take, you can record the video, which I've done a couple of times. You can change the resolution and you can go full screen. So nothing um, surprising about those features just under the screen there. Now, one of the cool things is that you can talk through it. So there's actually a speaker and microphone in the camera. So I can talk through it, which you press the talk button like that. Um, tap to talk. Oh yeah, record away, that's fine. And it enables it. Hello! There you go. Did you hear that? We'll try it again. Hello YouTube! Ah, there you go. So, you can speak. So let's just go to that. There's clip, which I didn't quite understand what was exactly. So, uh, I'm just going to take the sound off there. Um, the clip is zoom. So digital zoom. I don't know why it's clip. You're clipping it, but whatever. So you can, you know, move this around and it'll move the image above. Uh, so there's me, for example, on my head there. You can see, hello, see there's me. Right, so that's clip. Not sure why it's called clip. Uh, PGZ, this is the cool bit where you can actually move it. So you can turn this and you should be able to see that it turns up there. Oh, come on. There we go. Turns that, the camera. And obviously you can position it with that. Um, so that's as expected. Again, there's a little bit of delay, so it takes a little bit of practice to get used to, but that's okay. And then we have playback. Now, this is where one of the things that I wasn't quite aware of. So there's an SD card in it, but as far as I can figure out, you can't just have the whole record night all the time and just overwrite on the SD card. It only stores events, right? So you can see there's one event here from right now, because that's me. Um, but there's a couple of other events. I can show you that here is one of the llamas. That's kind of neat because they were up here on the top of the hill. Um, and uh, that's just the recording of the event. So it doesn't record uh, continuously as far as I can figure out. So that's playback. And you can obviously, if we go into those clips, you can download them as well. Let's just go here and we can uh, yeah, play it there. And then up the top, you can see that there's speed how fast you want it to go. And then there's a download button and there's channel selection. I don't actually know what that is. Um, so those are the features of the camera as such on the face of it. Now there's a few more things that I had to kind of dig a little bit, unfortunately, I think. Um, one of them is under the settings. So if you go into settings, you can see the battery. Now regarding the battery, the charger with the solar panel, I didn't pre-charge as like Reolink recommends. So when I got the camera, it had about 20% battery. It took about four or five days to charge up fully in the sun here in the summer in Australia. So I would recommend charge it before you put it out where you need it to be, then put the solar panel on it. Um, but in here, there's the usual. You can change the display. If you really want to, you can fiddle with all the different um, settings. Let's just see if it connects to it here. Come on, there's me again. And here, you can flip it, you can, anti-flicker, day and out auto, brightness, camera name, the date, the watermark, etc. Um, you can put that on the display there. Uh, the audio, you can uh, adjust the audio because obviously, as you heard before, it has audio in it, both a microphone and a speaker. So you can test that, you can record audio, etc. Uh, the light is, I can't remember what the light is, oh, infrared lights, yeah, for the night vision, we'll get to that in a second. And then there is a PIR motion sensor. I'm not even sure what that is exactly. Those are the alarms. Um, so I get a notification whenever there's an event for generally an animal walking by. Also has been um, like a light halo has done it once as well. So, but it's generally animals, it works pretty well. Um, camera recording on, I think it's in here. Yeah, so in here under camera recording, this is the bit that I had to change, the post motion record duration. So this is where you set how much of the event do you want to record and I'd had, it defaults to eight seconds, which is nowhere near enough because you want a maximum and then cut it yourself, I think. So I put it at 30. Uh, overwrite recordings, yes, if you run out of um, uh, space and you can schedule the recordings as well if you have particular events. Um, push notifications are on, so I get email alert, I get that. The siren, I took that off because it's annoying and there's no one up here anyway. And then down here, for some reason, one of the best features of this camera 
is down the bottom, time lapse. And I don't understand why they didn't put this on the front page. Please real link, do that. Because in here, you can capture new time lapse here. So it only shows the latest one. So it just, it just saves one at a time. Um, but you have these pre-select ones, which is moving clouds, sunrise, sunset, construction, blooming. And that doesn't sound particular, you know, fantastic. But all of these are um, like presets. So the moving clouds, if you go in here, you can see that it records for uh, 10 second intervals from now till an hour later. So you get the clouds going, woo. Um, you can go sunrise, which I did, which I'll show you now. And that means that it actually knows what time the sunrise is based on where you are, the location, which is kind of neat. So it says, well, 6 or 1 a.m. and an hour. And it does every 10 seconds, takes an image and it puts it together as a video. And the same with sunrise, right? Or sunset, rather. Uh, construction is one picture a day. Oh, no, every 50 minutes, rather over 120 days that's kind of cool you get this construction time lapse as you might have seen online right and then we have blooming which is for flowers and you can create your own as well but this is really cool like i, I like the time lapse i wish they put that not so like didn't hide it so much uh there's even a overwrite time lapse sure um and then there's some advanced things in here which is Legal login, log out, uh, date time, passwords. I don't know why date time is advanced, um, but anyway. So that is the camera in it. And now let me show you the night vision as well, which is remarkably good of the kangaroos. And that was actually in really dark. It was properly dark and look how clear it is and how much you see with this infrared. I was quite surprised and impressed, impressed by that. So um, yeah, that is the app for the, uh, for the Keen Real Link trail cam. So I want to talk a little bit about the pros and cons because there are both. Um, let's start with the pros. This is a very well built camera. It's very easy to install. I like the hardware. I like the design of it, the camouflage. Uh, everything fits together really nicely. Um, I can't really fault it. Uh, it just feels really well built. Um, and, and even the solar panel, I wasn't quite sure that small solar panel, but it so far has performed really well. Uh, so I can't really fault the hardware. I think it's great. Um, second, the nighttime vision is really good. That's much better than I expected. Um, I don't know what kind of IR like there's in it, but it really, really works well. Like the distance is, I don't know how the far it is, 15 meters or something, and it's clear. I was really impressed by that, as you saw in that uh, footage with the kangaroos as well. Really good. Um, and then thirdly, I think that the, actually has a lot of features. The, the app in particular has a lot of features, like the time-lapse um, and like the two-way communication with the microphone and the speaker, which could be handy if there's someone you can use as a security thing, go, oh, go away, or whatever you want to use it for. I, I think there's some really good features in the app um, as well. So, and that of course brings me to the cons and by far, for me personally, and if you watch other videos on the channel, you almost can guess what I'm going to say, is the lack of home assistant integration. And Reolink did warn me before I got it that that probably wasn't gonna work and it isn't. So Reolink cameras in general do work with home assistant, but they only work when they are PoE powered um, and you have them on the network, on your local network. Um, and this obviously isn't, it's a 4G camera. Uh, it only works through the app when you um, set it up with your profile. So, but still, I would have loved to have this in home assistant. Um, I could use it for a whole bunch of things, especially the events like animal events and I could have all the lights go, I don't know, dancing. I, I don't know, I could just, I can think of things that I would use it for. Second of all, the app does need a bit of work. The mobile app, even though there's a lot of good features, it's a bit, it is a bit clunky. It's a little bit, I don't know, it looks a little bit 10 years ago, I think. Um, and the fact that they're burying some features like the time-lapse so far down that people might not even know they're there. Um, yeah, it just needs a bit more work and a bit more user friendliness, I think. Ah, getting eaten by flies here. Um, and then thirdly, 
it's a little bit disappointing and maybe I'm wrong, correct me in the comments if I am, but I couldn't find a way to continuous record on the device and nor can you in, use more than a 256 gigabyte SD card because they come up to what, two terabyte now or something? I would love to just continuously record on it so that I can go in at any time and you know, go at any time in the timeline on whatever size and time back I could see. Um, I would love to have that. So that's my summary. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I think this is a great device. I really enjoy it up here on the top of the hill where there's no power or anything. Um, there's a smidgen of Wi-Fi coverage, but not anything that I would be able to use. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Is this something you could use? Um, and as always, use the link in the, in the, in the description if you're interested in one. Um, that's the best way to help the channel, really. That and of course, subscribe using the link below as well. So uh, give us a thumbs up click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video which hopefully isn't going to be in full sunlight on top of a windy hill but who knows.